Honda has decided to take its Accord up market. The idea being to give you something more premium and more exclusive than your Vauxhall Insignias and Ford Mondeos, only for slightly less money than your BMW 3 Series and your Audi A4s. Visually, the Accord has the looks to mix it with the German big boys, with bulb creases in the bodywork and a distinctive set of headlamps. Inside, the quality air continues with one of Honda's finest built cabins to date. Unlike other cars in the range, the dash is made of high quality soft touch materials. I really like the damp feeling of the indicator stalks and everything has that beautiful Honda feeling of solidity. It's decent practicality too. We've got a couple of cup holders there. Now you can use that for storing your Coke cans and there's a large central cubby. And if you look in here, you'll notice it's chilled by the air conditioning and there's the obligatory USB import for your MP3 player. As for safety, you can get the car with lane departure warning and also a cruise control that will apply the brakes in an emergency. So then, what is the Accord like to drive? Well, I think the best way to sum it up is relaxing. The 2.2 litre diesel in this car is effortless. The six speed manual gearbox is one of the best in the business. The seats are extremely comfortable. The driving position is spot on and all round visibility is perfect. Needless to say, the Accord is a good long distance companion. It's generally quiet and at motorway speeds, the ride is nice and comfortable. That said, at town speeds, it can feel a little bit jittery on rough surfaces. However, the biggest downside with the Accord is that it doesn't handle quite as well as you'd expect a Honda to. It's not as much fun as a Monday and it's certainly nowhere near as sporty as something like a BMW 3 Series. And while I'm having a moan, I have to say, these buttons on the center console are so confusing that I just don't suggest you use them at all while you're driving. And then there's the rear passenger space. I'm not going to claim that the Accord is tiny in the back because it's not. However, it's not as big as something like a Toyota Avensis. Also, I think that the passenger footwell here is a little bit cramped. And then there's the boot. It's not exactly small, but the capacity is still around 100 litres less than the VW Passats. The biggest problem with the Accord, however, is its price because it is more expensive than its more mainstream European rivals. That said, it does hold its value pretty well come resale time. Like I said at the beginning, it is more exclusive than your average family car.